Coca-Cola is a carbonated beverage famous around the world. Every day it is estimated that the world's population consumes over 1.7 billion servings worth of Coke. In addition to drinking it, people have found that there are a range of fun, messy, and mind-blowing experiments you can do with the popular beverage. Just be warned, some are potentially dangerous and often messy. The Power of Coke Thanks to its high levels of phosphoric acid, Coke is a pretty potent cleaner. Don't believe us? Try taking an old penny, a rusty nail, or a pot with baked food on it and soak them in the drink. Don't worry about scrubbing, just sit back and relax and let the Coke do the work for you over the span of a few hours. When it's all done, that old penny will shine like new, the rusty nail will smooth, and that pot with last night's baked dinner on it will shine as if you just spent several minutes scrubbing it with a brush. Milk versus Coke if you've ever mixed milk with Coke too quickly, you'll know it curdles. Try slowly pouring some 2% milk into a bottle of Coke. Let the concoction sit for a few hours and come back and see what has happened. The acid in the Coke has bonded with the protein in the milk. The resulting precipitate eventually settles to the bottom of the bottle, leaving what is effectively clear Coke above. We wouldn't suggest drinking it, however. After all, it's still just curdled milk and Coke. Coke Lava Lamp Looking to add a little 70s vibe to your place but don't have a lava lamp? Not a problem. With a bottle of Coke, some vegetable oil, and Alka-Seltzer tablets, you can make your own Coca-Cola lava lamp. Take half a bottle of Coke and fill the rest with oil. Add the tablets and watch the magic. The denser Coke reacts with the Alka-Seltzer and rises up through the oil, giving the effect of a real lava lamp. The reaction will only last for a short time, however, after which you'll need to repeat the process or go buy a real lava lamp. Coke Volcano this experiment is kind of like the famous Coke and Mentos trick, only a bit more dangerous, which means you should do it outside and wear protective equipment. With either a bottle or glass of Coke, add a scoop of pool cleaner that contains chlorine. At first, the mixture just sits and foams a little bit. If you've put in enough chlorine, in a short while, the entire container the mixture is in will begin to shake and jump. This is followed by a dramatic reaction producing a mountain of white foam that shoots out of the container. Red Bull, Milk and Coke we know that when Coke and milk are mixed, you get the creation of solid, thanks to curdling. What about if we add some Red Bull? In this instance, the energy drink does give the mixture wings. As the Coke reacts with the energy drink, this milk curdles and everything combines into a rather thick and chunky concoction, grows in size and soon spills out of any container you are using. Messy and sticky, we suggest you do this one outside. How much sugar? You always hear about how bad pop is for you because of all the sugar it contains. Want to see exactly how much sugar is in your bottle or can of Coke? Take the Coke and pour it in a pot or saucepan. Place it on the stove and heat it to a boil. Make sure you stir a lot because sugar burns. After a while, the liquid has boiled off and you are left with a black blob of sludge. This is the sugary syrup that gives the Coke its flavor and color. Importantly, it's almost all sugar. Coke Rocket a spin on the Coke and Mentos trick, this particular experiment should be done outside, away from buildings, and preferably other people. Take a bottle of Coke, add a pile of Mentos, and get the cat back on quickly. After shaking vigorously, throw the bottle up in the air and run away as fast as you can. The reaction of the Coke and Mentos will create a massive amount of pressure in the bottle. When it strikes the ground, the cap will likely break under the pressure and the bottle will launch quite far from the resulting release. Gummy Coke if you're into gummy candy, you likely know you can get it in Coke flavor. With a little work at home, you can make your own Coca-Cola gummy candy. Take some plain gelatin and mix it with water. When it's ready, add it to your Coke and put it in the freezer. Voila! If you're looking to be more creative, you can use a Coke bottle as a mold. When the mix is ready, crack open the bottle carefully and you have a life-size bottle-shaped Coke-flavored gummy. Coke Slushy. This experiment not only demonstrates an interesting property of Coke, but you get to eat the results after you're done. Shake up a bottle of Coke for 30 seconds and then place it in the freezer for a few hours. After you remove the bottle, slowly and gently open it before pouring into a bowl. The end result is a Coca-Cola slushy you can eat or drink. Be warned, however, if you open the bottle too quickly, the Coke will freeze inside and you won't get any slush. Coke versus Egg if you're really interested in experimenting with the effects of Coke on everyday objects, grab a can and a hard-boiled egg with the shell on. Put the egg in the Coke and let it sit. After just a day, you'll notice the egg is stained and the shell is beginning to break down. If you have the time, leave it for a few months or even a year. You'll find the shell is completely dissolved thanks to the acids of the Coke breaking down the calcium, phosphorus, and sodium found in the egg shell. Are you a Coke fan? Let us know if you decide to try any of these experiments and play safe while you're at it. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more fun videos like this one. Thanks for watching.